Today here at Robert's Guitar Dungeon, I'm going to teach you how to play guitar like the legendary Ace Fraley. I had a guitar instructor who I went to, I took lessons from uh, religiously every week for about five years. And one of the first guitar players that, uh, you know, that we studied together, you know, of course he was already very familiar with, uh, with his styles, yeah. but me being such a huge Kiss fan and me wanting to, you know, wanting to know, you know, become a better guitar player, uh, you know, he, you know, determined that uh, Ace Fraley would be a very, very good starting point for me. Uh, you know, and, and he was right. Ace Fraley has a very, you know, really, you know, he's a, you know, he's kind of a keep it simple, stupid uh, kind of guitar player. And, you know, and I mean that in, uh, in, a, in a good way. You know, that's not, that's not me knocking Ace Fraley at all because, you know, he, he just has a very, uh, a, a very simple but straightforward uh, approach to doing a number of things that's, you know, really, and I think once we get into some of these things, you'll understand a little bit more about what I'm talking about. But uh, uh, you know, it made it makes for a very uh, a very unique style that you know to my ear anyway. You know, I can tell you know that's Ace. Uh, you know, Ace Fraley of course is a great guitar player. He's a you know he's a great musician. He's a great songwriter. You know, of the four original members of Kiss, I think it's probably a pretty safe thing to say that Ace was the best musician. Uh, and it's evident when the when the four of them decided that they needed a break from each other. Uh, a little bit of Kiss history, you know, when they, uh, <clears throat> Kistery, I believe they call it, uh, you know, when the four of them decided that they needed some time away from each other and each went out and did their own uh, solo albums, but still under the Kiss, uh, the Kiss brand, if you will, uh, I think Gene Simmons' album, I think Gene Simmons' record was the best selling of the four, but Ace, Ace's was clearly the best with the best musicianship on it. Fun fact unrelated to this video, Gene Simmons did not play one note of bass on that guitar on that album. He played an all guitar, which I find kind of interesting. Anyway, so, you know, here is a few tips to learning to play guitar in the style of Ace Frehley. Uh, number one, I, you know, I don't have a Gibson Les Paul Custom, unfortunately, but I do have an Epiphone Les Paul Custom, and uh, it was really, it was my, uh, my, uh, my admiration for Ace Fraley that inspired me to buy this guitar, you know, now probably 15 years ago. I didn't have, four, at that time, you know, three or four grand laying around, but, you know, I, I was able to come up with 800 bucks, which is what this thing cost. And, uh, you know, Ace Fraley always uses the three pickup Les Paul Customs. Uh, you know, of course, he's had several signature uh, models over the years. Uh, some are the black ones, some are the sunburst, the cherry sunburst ones. Uh, he usually takes out the pickups and, uh, swaps them all for DeMarzio Super Distortions. And, uh, I don't know why he uses the three pickup, the, the three pickup Les Pauls, because he never uses anything but the bridge pickup. On his original one, which was a black one, uh, the Gibson version of this guitar, if you will, you know, he actually, you know, he, uh, you know, he even said that the reason why he took out the next pick, the neck pickup and installed a smoke machine in it is because he never used the neck pickup anyway. And the smoke machine was, was, you know, visually a lot cooler for their live show. So while I don't have an Ace Fraley signature and I don't have a Gibson Les Paul custom, I do have an Epiphone. Uh, and this is just a standard run of the mill Epiphone Les Paul custom with the, uh, the stock pickups. And, uh, I have never modified a thing on this guitar as long as I've had it. Other gear that Ace Fraley uses, he has actually used a JCM 900 dual reverb uh, as well as a uh, you know he's also real big on the Marshall uh, DSLs, uh, the you know the early I think the original DSL series, uh, the, the again the original run that were made in the UK. Uh, those are, have been his main amps for along with the 1960 uh, I think 19 both 1960 cabs and uh, the, the 1960 vintage 30 cabs. Uh, so he's used both the you know, both of those, uh, those marshals for a long time, early, back in the early days, back in the seventies though, and early eighties, uh, he was a pretty big advocate of the plexis, you know, but he's always been a Marshall guy. He's always been a Gibson guy, not really much of an effects guy at all. He might use something on occasion in the studio, uh, but he's not really known for using any pedals. So Les Paul straight into a Marshall. I'm not going to use, uh, my Marshall for this video, uh, just because I think for this purpose, 
I'm going to use my Randall uh, Diavolo head into uh, my Seismic Audio 212 cabinet loaded with a pair of uh, warehouse guitar speakers, Veteran 30s, which is their Vintage 30 clone. Uh, and for distortion, I am going to use my trusty uh, Tone City Model M, which is a very, very, very good Marshall on a box distortion, uh, which is very affordable. I'll have links to all the gear posted down in the description uh, for you to check out there. You know, three major techniques that, like I said, are, are very simple but are so ace fraley uh, that I would like to point out. Uh, I think three anyway. Uh, the first one being, you know, of course, he uses a, uh, a lot of power chords and, uh, you know, he plays in a lot of different scales. You know, they, you know, the Kiss, of course, uh, uh, you know, and even his solo stuff, you know, they write a lot of songs in, in uh, E and G, uh, you know, in uh, A, you know, pretty, uh, pretty common keys that you see in rock music. Uh, you know, and he does use a lot of power chords, you know, for, uh, you know, I'm going to refer to uh, the song She for a lot of this stuff because... That song, uh, you know, uses quite a bit of these techniques, but uh, just a standard three-note power chord. And he does tend to move them around quite a bit as well, for example, uh, in the, uh, the song uh, Love Gun. Which leads me to my next uh, my next point. When he is moving chords around like that, power chords, one thing that he likes to do quite a bit to just again just to simplify things, but in my opinion, it sounds great. When you look at that that main riff from Love Gun, rather than moving, you know, up here he's kind of moving it back and forth, but you know, for that next chord, which is held pretty long, which is you know exactly a half step down from where he was, rather than move the whole chord down, what he will do is he'll play the full the full three note power chord first, and then to move it down a half step, all he does is play the uh, the root and the fifth, the bot the top root and the fifth, and then mute the uh, the bottom root note with his uh, first finger. So essentially he's playing a two note power chord on the same string. So if you're playing a song where you're moving a lot of power chords around, try that technique and see what you think. Because another advantage to doing that is it will also uh, actually conserve energy while you're playing, especially if you're playing at uh, faster tempos. One of the more unique things about Ace Frehley's guitar playing uh, is his vibrato. And, uh, you know, whereas, you know, particularly in solos uh, on the higher notes, you know, with a, a solo, for example, on a string bend where you're going to add some vibrato to it, uh, you might do something like this. Uh, just as an example, not ace. You know, when you look at, at a standard, uh, you know, note like I just played on in uh, tablature, what you will see is you will see the note go all the way up at the top, and then you'll see the vibrato. Well, with aces, on the other hand, aces goes up and down and up and down, uh, and sounds like this. He, you know, Ace likes to use full bends, uh, you know, full, you know, uh, you know, full half step bends and full whole step bends wherever possible, you know, and they're all over the place in uh, the solo to she. Ace Fraley written all over it. You know, a lot of Ace's playing, particularly uh, in his solos, are rooted in the blues. And, uh, you know, there's a couple of blues licks, one in particular, that he really likes to use, uh, you know, a lot of different versions of. Uh, again, referring back to that same solo. You know, which is uh, which is all rooted out of, in this case, uh, G minor pentatonic. Uh, you know, one of his favorite, again, one of his favorite scales. You know, and to be clear, you know, the minor pentatonic scale obviously is not unique to Ace Fraley. But, uh, you know, I have always admired some of the things that he's always been able to do with it, uh, as, you know, again, as well as he has. 
But one lick that he does like to play is this one right here, you know, which is uh, very simple. It's across the top three strings. And that's really all he does, and uh, you know, it's you know to be able to stretch that out for you know stretch that out for a little bit, uh, you know, for uh, you know for a bar or two or three, uh, you know, adds for some really really cool solos, you know. You know, sometimes he'll change up the order. One last thing that Ace Frehley likes to do a lot of with his solos uh, is, you know, within the same solo, if you're looking at it, uh, you know, if you're looking at it on the fretboard, uh, you know, again, you know, a very, very simple technique that, you know, for whatever reason, I had never thought to do. And, you know, and he's not the only one that does this, but, uh, you know, this is, you know, Ace Frehley is the one that I discovered it from. And after I learned about what he was doing, you know, I kept hearing it over and over and over again across so many, you know, solos and, uh, you know, those old classic Kiss songs. But what he is doing is, you know, taking a standard, uh, you know, just, a, you know, a standard scale, be it a minor pentatonic or a minor scale. Uh, those are probably the two most common that he used, uses. Uh, basically just playing the same, you know, two or three or four note pattern. You know, the, uh, let's, you know, use the solo in Love Gun as an example. You know, at the end of that solo, obviously, uh, well, I guess not obviously if you're not familiar with that song, but uh, that's basically the end of the solo. And, you know, then of course he goes back and repeats it several times. What he's doing, it's the same three note pattern. He's just starting at one note, uh, you know, he's just advancing at one note back in the scale every time. <clears throat> so, if you know the pattern, you know the shape of the scale on the fretboard. And he does the same thing basically throughout that entire solo. Something like that, anyway. I don't want to play too much of it. I don't want the Kiss copyright police coming after me. You know, but often, you know, but hopefully you get the idea of how Ace oftentimes uh, constructs and uh, plays his solos. Again, just you know, a, a simple you know two or three or four note pattern, and uh, you know, playing it and moving it up the scale one. Uh, you know, one note at a time. Yeah. Again, something very, very simple, and uh, you know, but something I never uh, knew or thought to do until I studied the playing styles of Ace Frehley. So there you have it. There are some tips to help you learn to play guitar, just like the legendary Ace Frehley. Hopefully, you found this video informative. Uh, drop me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, please hit the uh, subscribe button and the alert icon right next to it if you haven't already. Uh, links to all the gear used in this video as well as anything pertinent will be down in the description. Practice, 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 kids. Over and over and over again, and one day you too can become a great guitar player just like Ace Fraley. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.